This is a part two. If you haven't seen part one, I cover the first three ponies. And you can tell from the thumbnail that in this video, I'm going to be covering Twilight and Rainbow Dash, who are actually my favorite of the main six. And they gave me a lot of trouble, so let's go ahead and get into it. As far as the Equestria girls go, I personally think that Twilight has a stronger design than the rest of them, and Rainbow Dash has a weaker design than the rest of them. I'm specifically talking about Twilight from the first two movies, the original movie and Rainbow Rocks. I'm not going to get into Psy Twy because I do not like her, but honestly, I think Twilight's original design is really cute. I like the blue shirt. Um, I think her boots are cute, but honestly, like I said in the original video, all of the designs are pretty dated, so I'm just going to be altering them just a little bit. For Rainbow Dash, I hate that they put her in a skirt and I hate even more that they put leggings under it because that is just so 2013. Like I literally remember wearing that exact outfit to field day in second grade. So I'm definitely going to be taking off the skirt. But before we get into the redesigns, I have to tell you about this video's partner. Wow, Inkyo, three partner videos in a row, yes. Yes, okay, I promise this is the last one for a while. This video I partnered with UG and they sent me their UE12 for me to try. I received and started playing around with the UE12 a few months ago and inside the box is of course the monitor and then you have the pen, you have the power cords and the connection cords, the pen of course, um, you have the instruction manual as well as some extra pen nibs and here is what the tablet looks like on the stand. One thing you might have noticed is that the tablet doesn't come with a pen holder, which I thought was a little strange, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. And then after downloading the driver and everything like that, I did have a little bit of trouble getting the pen to calibrate, but it only took me a few minutes to get everything set up and working correctly. It is a screen tablet and it's got a pretty decently sized screen. It's a little bit bigger than the tablets that I'm used to, but it's still a pretty good size. One thing that screen tablets often struggle with is color correction and the accuracy of the colors on the screen. And as an art tablet, it is pretty important for the colors to be accurate. And I will say that the colors were a little bit less saturated than they were on my desktop screen, but I was drawing pretty bright ponies and it didn't really affect my art in any way. The pen is also super small and super light and I have pretty small hands, so that was refreshing. As somebody who's used to drawing on an iPad, I will say I really enjoyed drawing on the UE12, and I'm pretty picky, so. So if you're looking for a good sized tablet, I would definitely recommend checking out UG's website. They're currently having a sale on the UE12, so if you're interested, I would definitely go take a look at their website. I'll have it linked in the description as well as in the comments. Thank you so much to UG for working with me on this video, and let's get into the redesigns. So for the first redesign, we are going to be starting with Twilight. She is the main character after all. Right off the bat, her pose gave me a lot of trouble. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do with her arms because in the original reference that I have, you can see her arms are just kind of down and that's really boring. So I gave her a kind of like inquisitive look, I guess. Like she's, you know, she's kind of curious about you, you know? I originally didn't know if I wanted to keep her in a skirt or give her pants, and you can see in the full body that I do end up keeping her skirt, um, because I wanted her to look not only like, you know, studious, giving dark academia, you know, but also I wanted her to look like a princess. I don't know how well that came across. I mean, in the original Quest Year Girls movie, she's only been a princess for like a few days, I think it is. I don't know. It's been a while since I've watched the movies, guys. I will admit I did not rewatch them for this video. I just jumped straight in, baby. So, like I said, I do really like the original outfit. I'm not the biggest fan of, I guess, the colors, but I do like the vibe. I like the bow. I like the button-up shirt. I like the, the boots, even though they are a little bit dated. So I put the design, well, something similar to the design on her boots on her sweater. I think a lot of people do that when they redesign Twilight. And I rolled up her sleeves uh, just because, you know, I felt like it. I cut her hair um, and now only goes down to about her upper back instead of going straight down to her waist. And then I also gave her a headband. Um, it's not really doing anything. It's not like keeping her hair out of her face or anything. I thought it was cute though. So, you know, 
not everything needs a reason. I think the main off-putting thing about Twilight's design is her sleeves. I don't like that they gave her short sleeves. I just really don't think that it fits her. Like, I can't even explain why. It just doesn't fit her vibes. I don't think she would wear short sleeves. I think she would either wear long sleeves and roll them up or just wear straight up long sleeves. I don't think she'd wear short sleeves. I don't know if you can tell, but none of my videos are scripted. At the beginning, they were. Like, I had guidelines that I would follow throughout the course of the video, but now I just kind of, you know, speak from the heart, you know? Anyways, that was a stupid tangent. Okay, so I made her sweater purple and her skirt black instead of keeping the blue purple combination from her original because I just, I didn't want to draw a purple skirt. I'm gonna be so honest, I didn't want to give her a purple skirt. Honestly, she ended up a lot more simple than I thought she would. Like there aren't any patterns or anything on like her skirt or anything, but I think that's in line with how Twilight would dress. I don't think she'd, you know, have tons and tons of clothes in her closet. She probably just owns like a bunch of black skirts and button ups with <laughs> different variations of the same sweater vest that she wears every day. As for her major, since in this rewrite of Equestria Girls, all of them are in college at Canterlot University instead of in high school, I think that she would be like an English major, extremely basic. Either that or like a stats major, business stats. Um, but I think she's more into like reading books. She lives in a library. She's an English major. She has a huge stack of books in her bag at any given time. She's always studying, has perfect grades, a perfect GPA. Honestly, when I was younger, Twilight was either my favorite or second favorite just because she was the main character and I wanted to be her because I wanted to be the main character. But nowadays, Twilight is my favorite because I too am a burnt out gifted kid. Honestly, I don't really have much else to say about her. You'll see me struggling with the full body and eventually I just ended up cleaning up the sketch and I didn't end up drawing her pony form because, you know, I was getting used to a new tablet and I wanted to get these done kind of fast, so I'm sorry about that. Sorry to all of my SciTwi fans out there, if there are any of you, I just, I think she really brought down the quality of the third and fourth movie. I do not think that she was necessary in any capacity. I did not like her, guys. And she didn't even really feel like Twilight, like not even pre-Alicorn Twilight, like Twilight from the first few episodes. She just did not feel like Twilight. And maybe some of you will disagree with me. Um, leave your thoughts in the comments, but be nice about it. I'm not looking for people to yell at me. Speaking of comments, some of y'all are wild. I cannot believe some of y'all did not learn manners. I'm not talking about most of you, but a select handful of you did not learn your internet etiquette, guys. Anyways, anyways, that's not important. Not important. I definitely could have made Twilight a little bit more complicated, but I don't think that she needed to be. Honestly, I think that Twilight's fine just the way she is. I did struggle with writing her name though because I do not have neat handwriting. Anyways, here is Twilight. I imagine that she owns 30 billion other sweater vests just like this one. And of course, next we have everybody's favorite Rainbow Dash. If you don't like Rainbow Dash, I don't think that I trust you. I tried to give her a more muscular body type, but she is still like young, like early 20s, late teens, if she's gonna be in college. Speaking of college, for her major, I'm not sure. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I didn't know you couldn't just go to college and play sports. You have to actually like major in something, be a part of a program. So originally I had absolutely no clue what Rainbow Dash would even major in, why she would even go to Canterlot University in the first place for anything other than like a sports scholarship. And honestly, I couldn't really think of anything before I ended up editing this video and recording the voiceover. So if you have any ideas on what Rainbow Dash would major in, please leave them in the comments because I am at a loss. Anyways, talking about her Equestria Girls design in the movies, I hate it. I can't stand it. I like the shoes and that's literally it. I don't like her hair. I hate the skirt with the leggings under it. I hate it. I hate it. I can't stand this design. I also think her socks picking out of her shoes are really weird. 
like, are they entirely rainbow? That's so strange. I hate it. I don't even think any of her outfits in the later movies are an improvement. Okay, anyways, um, getting into the line art, I put her in a tank top and some leggings. I think her closet is just full of entirely workout clothes. She shops at, you know, I don't know any workout clothes stores, guys. Yeah, but even to like her classes and stuff, she still wears workout gear because she's always planning on doing something either before or after class. Like I mentioned in the previous video, I don't like the way that their hair was translated onto their human designs. I know that it was for the sake of like consistency and keeping like a similar silhouette between them and their ponies, but I hate her hair. It just looks like one piece of hair that was laid over her head. So I gave her like, I think it's a wolf cut. Maybe she did it herself, I don't know. And then for the full body, I tied it into a ponytail so that it doesn't get in her way when she's playing sports or something like that. Honestly, Rainbow Dash ended up being my favorite out of any of the ones that I've done so far, mostly because Rainbow Dash was already one of my favorite ponies. I gave her like band-aids and a bunch of like you know, I think they're sweatpants. I don't know, guys. I don't work out. I don't play sports. But yeah, I really don't have a lot to say about her. Same thing with Twilight. I'm gonna be so honest. It's been a couple months since I drew these. So I can't really remember what my thought process was. I do remember these tennis shoes being extremely hard to draw. I don't normally like drawing shoes or anything like that. Oh, I lied. That wasn't the line art. Oops. Okay. Okay, well, while Speed Paint Lucky is doing the line art, I'm gonna talk about Rainbow Dash in the first and second Equestria Girls movies because I- it's been a while since I've watched the third and fourth ones and I don't care for them. I've seen quite a few people saying they don't like how Rainbow Dash was acting in Rainbow Rocks, um, just being generally like, egotistical, being really possessive of like the rain booms, calling it her band, stuff like that. And as somebody who used to be like super bossy and like my friend groups and stuff, I can definitely get where she's coming from. Like as the person who started the band, I think it makes sense for her to call it her band. Um, just maybe in like, you know, maybe she's not meaning it as like, it's entirely her band. Maybe it's just the band that she's part of, guys, okay? I'm a Rainbow Dash apologist, okay? As much as I didn't want to, I did directly color drop the colors from her hair in her original design just because I feel like those shades are very, like, Rainbow Dash, if that makes sense. However, for her outfit, I did make the red, yellow, blue thing that she's got going on into pink, yellow, blue, just because I thought it would be easier on the eyes. But I did make her color scheme a little bit more unified, made it mostly blue when it comes to her outfit. Like I picked a bluer shade of gray, just because I'm one of those character designers who likes it when there is a primary color to a character's design. I'm very, it's very magical girl in a way. And I will say that working with her rainbow hair was not as hard as I thought it would be. Tying in little pops of color here and there like on her shirt and with like her wristbands and stuff made the rainbow easier to incorporate, if that makes sense. But yeah, honestly, I don't have much else to say about Rainbow Dash. Here she is. Um, I really like how she turned out. I definitely do think I was projecting a little bit onto her. Now, you may be asking, Lucky, who's the special character for this video? The one who isn't in the thumbnail? Well, I have been super busy lately, and so I did not have time to do a third character for this video, which is my bad. But I promise there will be three characters for the next video. It's not going to be Equestria Girls, but there are going to be three redesigns in it. So come back next week or the week after that or whatever week I end up posting the next video because who needs an upload schedule, right? But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure to watch every single other video I have ever posted. I have been Lucky Inkyo, and I will see you very soon.